so you get my thing You're live now. Am I live? Am I live? Am I live? A little music before I start talking, I think. Keep it in a Valentine mood, my love. positive song uh, about the great things you like in your husband or your wife, your boyfriend, girlfriend. 
And um, if you go over to my website, realisticstevenson.com, you can see some of the information on the track. And I realise that my mic is still on, so just a second, let me just take this off. And so there's no noise in your ears as I move around. Okay, so thank you for coming along today and joining with me. Um, today, really, I'm talking about your mind is your music. Uh, I know recently I was with Nova and we were doing a fantastic workshop one day on how to create your single and album, and it went brilliantly. Uh, Musicians Union was there. We had a great turnout, and lots and lots of people learned lots and lots of things. <laughs> we may well run it again later in the year, so do check back on that. But this time, I really want to talk about a thing that as an artist we don't usually talk about and it's what's happening in our mind when we play and um, it's quite a very interesting topic and that's why I'm going to be doing a whole lot more about it on the 3rd of March but before I get to the 3rd of March let me just tell you my story. When I started out playing I didn't really have um, a good sort of um, well esteem belief in myself and I was very negative, and nobody would know that. Um, um, but maybe people pick it up, I don't know. But for me, it was one of those things I would get on stage, and actually before I even got on stage, I'd be thinking about, oh gosh, how's it gonna go? Will I like my song? Is it gonna, am I gonna play it right? Will I remember my notes? And I was a type of person that, first of all, when I started playing, I would read music, I'd write out the notes and have that in front of me, and I would religiously just play that. And eventually I moved away from just reading the notes and to memorising the, the notes and playing more from the heart. But there was one thing that I really struggled with for many, many years. And it's what I really thought the audience thought of me. And I don't mean whether they thought I would a great player or whatever. It's really though that individual I thought in the audience didn't like my playing. How did I know that? I hear you asking, well I'll tell you how I knew, it's what I thought. <laughs> I would literally go on stage, play a song, and as I'm scanning the crowd I'm thinking, I'd see someone with a, a frown on their face, or maybe they've got a serious face, or something on their face, a look on their face, and immediately I would think, they don't like me, they don't think I didn't play good, oh my gosh, they can't stand my playing, and I'm having this dialogue in my head, so much so it would trip me up. <laughs> it would literally trip me up. I'd just make a mistake. I'd just be playing and bloop, forget where I am and it just goes wrong and then I feel so embarrassed. I'd finish my song, I'd come off stage and I'd beat myself up thinking, how can you make that mistake? Oh my gosh, you played it so many times in practice. You did it better in your home. What are you doing it on stage for? La 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 la. Perhaps you've been there. But that was a thing I really had to um, tackle. I don't mean like, would be tackle tackle I had to really tackle it and you know it took me quite a while you know um, I guess I had to get to a point where I'd have enough of making some serious mistakes now I'm not talking about when you play a song you miss the odd note and you, and you kind of do a curve on it if you know what I mean you like I was just playing my love and there's a part where I usually go to a B but instead I might have gone to a D but I think hey ho just work that in, work it in, work it baby, work it, bring it down. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about we just make a total gap of it. So I had to really get to that point where I started to say to myself, look, how long are you going to put up with this? How long are you going to do this? Is it really what that person's thinking? Come on now. Do you really know what they're thinking? They might just be having a bad day. They might just have a headache. They might just, they might just. No, okay. Truth be told, in my early days, am I playing? Well, okay, could be better. It was a bit flat here, a bit pitchy here and there. Maybe that's what they picked up on. But it doesn't matter what they picked up on. It mattered what I thought of myself and what I was putting into the audience, what I was projecting into the audience. And so it left me feeling very dissatisfied, me feeling like I shouldn't be on the stage, me thinking, why am I doing this job? All that kind of stuff. So I had to really grab, grab with that. And what I had to do was, one, face the facts to myself that I was doing this, that I was thinking this way. Two, I had to sort of say to myself, I don't really know what they're thinking, just don't think what I think they might be thinking. It ain't happening, it doesn't work. Just assume they're thinking the best of me rather than the worst of me. And the other thing is I just have to let myself have the hook with some of the mistakes because you know when you go on stage 
Um, you, you know your song. There's just some corners in the song which is a little bit, uh, bit obscured, you know, just a little bit kind of, uh, can't quite get that. Sometimes that sort of movement passes a little bit fast and coming up to your panic. And I just had to accept that there might be corners in that song that is like that. And I have to work ways around in my practice of how I get around those corners. So sometimes when I'm doing it so good, there's a part where I, I, I take a little bit of a Charlie Parker lick <laughs> and I stick in there, because I quite like that lick, and I put it in. And there's some days my fingers aren't working as well as I used to, let's face it, I'm not as young as I used to be. Um, but I found an alternative lick to put in there that works, and it works the song, without me sort of agonising and I must play that Charlie Parker lick. I just learnt to let myself off. So those are some of the things that I had to do to sort of uh, move my move music forward. And by doing that, I have to say, I've become a better player. And does it mean that I don't get nervous? No, there's days I do get nervous. Does it mean there's some songs could be a lot better? Yeah, there's some songs for me could be a lot better. But I tell you what, the audience loves it. And I know what I would like to do. They got a pretty good deal and they love it. And so it's just that, let yourself off the hook. Um, think about your A-game, think about what it is you want to bring to the audience and bring it because that is your opportunity to really deliver an A-class performance. Um, and you don't really want to leave the stage thinking because I was thinking that thought about myself or because I thought I will never be good at this, I've, I've just crashed it. No, you want to say this is my moment to shine, this is my moment to do it and I'm going to do it. And then when you know you've done it, you can come away thinking, yeah, you know, that weren't too bad. Yeah, I needed to do this. Yeah, I needed to do that. So that's kind of my story of how I controlled my mind in my music. And that comes to the 3rd of March. On the 3rd of March, there's a one-day workshop called Your Mind is Your Music. And it's very much that. What you think affects your music, as I've just explained about myself. But I'm sure when you think about your music, you're singing, you're producing, you're songwriting... Um, your instrument, um, your mind affects your music. So it's a one day workshop and um, the downside is, well, it's not really a downside, but it's for women. <laughs> I'm sorry lads, this time it's a girls only night, a girls only day, sorry. And uh, it's to help women um, be better at our music. Um, I know some of you are saying, boo, shouldn't be, but you know what, there's not a lot of us women in music. Um, there's, there, there needs to be more, there's lots of stats out there, lots of reports, and if you don't believe me, go check it out. And so I developed um, uh, an, an event called Cafemni, um, which is there to support and empower women in their music. So women, if you haven't played your instrument in a while, haven't written that song in a while, haven't done that production in a while, if you're someone who had a break because maybe you had family, Maybe you relocated, maybe your job just took a lot more time and so you have to give up on your music. Perhaps this is a day when you said, you know what, I'm going to come to this Cafe Me workshop, your mind is your music. I'm going to grapple with the things that are in my mind because I want to do my music. And let's face it, it's February. Maybe that was your New Year's resolution. Come on, on the 3rd of March. Or perhaps, ladies, you're a musician, you're a singer, you're a producer, you're a songwriter, you're already doing your thing and it's going pretty well, it's going okay, but there's just that little thought or two that's tripping you up. Come along on the 3rd of March and hear Novelette Aldred, who is a psychotherapist and also a chaplain in the NHS, giving us some fantastic tips about how to create a positive mind, how to use our strength to really tackle our, our four difficult areas, well, I'm saying weaknesses, our difficult areas, and also, she's just going to have lots and lots of information to just help us. I mean, I've been talking to her, and I am so excited about what she's going to share. So, come along on the 3rd of March. Where is it going to be? Well, it's going to be at the New Testament Church of God in Erdington, Birmingham, UK. It starts at 10 o'clock, and it finishes at 4.30. Now, prices, early bird, before the 23rd of February, so you've got two weeks for early bird, is £25. However, after the 23rd, from the 24th of Feb, it's £30. And if you just decide to turn up on a day, it's £35. You're going to have a great day, not just with Novelette, but in the afternoon. 
we're going to have a, a jam session. And please, I know some of you women are panicking already saying, oh my God, I'm not as good as you. I can't play a couple. It's not about being as good as me. It's about being as good as you are. And we're just going to come. We're going to have some fun. Cynthia Theron's got some songs sorted, really simple, easy tunes that you can just play some easy beats to, or you can just improvise on top and just develop it. Uh, we're going to do a fantastic vocal workshop, the Estelle Vocal Training Session by Louise Dengate. Um, so vocalists, you're in for a treat. It's a, just another approach about how you can develop your vocals. Um, Cynthia's going to be doing a keyboard workshop. I'm going to do a sax workshop. And depending on demand, we will have some African drumming workshop, um, the djembe drums, and also bass and guitar. So if this sounds like something that will just pep your year, pep your music, um, move you forward, please check it out. Um, after this um, live stream, I'll put more of the description in the information. But it's on Eventbrite, so you can go along to Eventbrite now and book. Remember, on Eventbrite, there is uh, a fee that they put on, and that will be declared as soon as you sort of sign up for that. However, you can pay by PayPal, or if you want to, I can send you the bank details, and obviously that's, there's no extra charges on that, and you can just register um, for the course. Um, what else do I need to tell you? Yeah, if you go on my website, there is actually the Kefemni page. If you go to the Kefemni tab and click on the March uh, 2018, the information is there and all the payment details at the bottom. But after today, if you go over to the Kefemni Facebook page after this live stream, the information will be there too. And I'll also post it on my Facebook page. Um, yeah. I think that's it. I don't know if there's anyone I need to say hi to or any comments I need to answer to. I'm not staying on too long today, so... As the comments going from the top of the stream... Yeah. Michelle Rodney is watching. Sam Stevenson is watching. Hi. Ah, setting the mood, says a commenter. <laughs> Carol Brewster. Hi, Carol. Sil Sylvia Lee. Jenny yes, adams Camose, Priscilla Bailey. Priscilla, hi. Ian Roberts, Michelle Rodney Thank says, you. Hi! <laughs> Joanne Gray. Joanne. Joanne Gray says, Beautiful, Millie, you look amazing. Oh, thank you. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Oakland, Re Oakland Riley is watching. Oh, Oakland, hi. Frederick Wisdom is watching. Frederick, hi, hi. Terence Taylor, Terrence. Sean Williams, wow. Wendy Putt, Pauline Powell people. Jones. Pauline, fantastic. Uh, Need to meet other techies, says someone. Ah, oh, techies. Ooh, can you please, whoever said that, please put some information in what you've said, what you mean by techies and stuff, because there may well be people already in the mailing list, on the Kefemi mailing list, that we can sort of hook you up. So please, 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 please put that in. Mm -hmm. Say any more for any more? Um, it's going to be fun. Haha, <laughs> yes, Michelle, you can teach me. <laughs> um, Donna Hugh Ingram Brown. And right. Selwyn Thompson. Oh, Selwyn, fantastic. So nice that you could come. What are we looking for, like, time? I think my battery's gone on here. Gonna... Time is currently 5 to 8. Oh, right. I need to be signing off, actually. Um, yeah, it's in the next room, actually. Sorry, my, my laptop power gone. I thought I had enough battery on, but it's gone, and I was going to run another tune for you. So, yes, 3rd of March um, in Birmingham, UK. Uh, I know I have some friends from abroad. If you guys want to fly in for the day, please come. More than welcome. And it's your mind, it's your music. And we're looking at four women. What are those sort of thoughts that get in the way? And I know it's like you've had kids and um, the job takes over and the family gets in the way and maybe you're caring for elderly relatives and so on. Lots of things get in the way and that just affects your mind and you get really, really um, busy in your thoughts. Um, Got it. Yeah, get really, really busy in your thoughts. But equally, like my story, it wasn't that it was a time when I had that I was a single woman. Um, but it's just that I had those negative thoughts, and I just thought someone in the audience is criticizing me, and that just destroyed my music. But you know, you've just got to get past that. And Novlet Aldred is a brilliant person who will be. I'm just trying to get some psychotherapist. Oh, it's coming on now psychotherapist and also NHS chaplain who will be taking us through that in the morning and then we've got a scrummy 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 um, lunch what's this continuous system resume what's that mean I don't know resume um, see what happens okay and, and we've got a scrummy scrummy lunch and uh, those of you who came for time for your music you know the lunch was 
good, really, really good. Lovely lunch, time to network, and in the afternoon there's going to be a, a jam session. And please, women, please, I beg you no do. Do not say, I don't play as good as you. I get into that. I don't want you playing at my level. I want you playing at your level. We're here to work together. You can teach me some things. I can teach you some things. I'm that kind of musician. I'm not into this elitist business. We're here to support each other because we can grow together and do something marvellous. Okay, I am going to switch off. If there are no questions, I'm going to just play out on the track. There are no questions as okay. it stands. Well, that sounds so it's quite straightforward. That's good to hear. If it's straightforward, give me a thumbs up and just say, yeah, give me some hearts and likes to say this, this is working. That's brilliant. If you think of a question afterwards, just post it um, just at the bottom here and I will definitely get back on and reply to it. Okay, um, just keeping it in the Valentine theme. So My Love is taken off my Reflective Notes album which is on Amazon and iTunes. If you're on um, Spotify and Apple Music, it's there too. It's on Google Play. Um, if you want the physical signed copy, just go to my website, millicentstevenson.com and go to the shop and order it there and I'll send you a signed copy. But right now I'm going to play a little bit of a track off. <laughs> back to the beginning actually. Pull up the surprise there. I'm gonna surprise you but <sighs> yeah, let's see if this works. I don't usually use this laptop you know. Oh. This one is and at any point my dear technician you can switch the off button. <laughs> Thank you. 